Hey, I'm Steve. I'm from the Pinball Room. I'm on YouTube. Um, I'm here with the guys in the Fast Booth showing off my homebrew machine. It's a Led Zeppelin theme. Um, hasn't gone too far along that path quite yet. You probably can't tell just by looking. But I started it uh, probably about three years ago, ideating and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And the main thing for me, my approach is um, trying to go through and kind of figure out like how do I integrate that theme. So for me, when I thought about Led Zeppelin, I'm not the biggest Led Zeppelin nut, but the first thing I thought it was like a stairway to heaven. So I built a mini escalator that's powered by a stepper motor that has magnets. You can trap the ball and advance up the steps and eventually get to an upper play field and then be able to have fun with that. So I was kind of kind of the core mech and then I kind of built the rest of the play field around that. Um, borrowed very heavily from other games that I'm familiar with. Um, still a lot I'm not familiar with, but out of those I did, I found some fun things I liked. So having a subway, being able to go through and have like inline drop targets that can like trap a ball, you can release and mix with other modes. And <clears throat> so I, anyway, I feel like there's a lot of fun things there around that. Um, why did I build a pinball machine? You know, um, the main reason I think why I decided to build this pinball machine is I just always had a fascination with pinball since I was a kid like many of us, right? But it, it was the whole complexity of a pinball machine, right? Like I love retro games like everybody, right? I have like main arcades I build and things like that. but. The idea of trying to tackle the mechanical complexity of a pinball machine, just it just really excited me. It's like, that's a fun challenge. I'm not the best pinball player, but man, I love working on them and, and repairing pinball machines as much as I do playing them. So I figured I, I should go through and see if I can do it. I started looking around and realized there's a bunch of people that already are. There's a huge community, especially like with the Fast Crew. Um, they've been so helpful in helping me understand how it all goes together. and. At the end of the day, for me, there's just nothing that beats that tactile, like kinetic feel of a pinball machine. And so being able to go through and create my own shots and like even before when I was just like doing things with cardboard, just to shoot the shots and when you get one that actually like really goes, like, you know, the feeling of a good solid pinball shot, it just, there's not much that beats it. And so being able to go through and take what was in my mind, what I, I think that could be a fun shot. And then sitting down with working flippers and playing until I got one, like, yeah, that feels good. like. That's been so much more fun than almost any of the other projects I worked on. Like, you know, it's just been it's been a lot of fun. So, here's the thing I, I tell everybody when they say they want to build their own pinball machine, but it seems impossible. Like, if you watch like my very first video, uh, how to make a pinball uh, machine, the, the overview. If you look inside a pinball machine and like, um, I show you mine, but my balls are all gonna fall out. If you look inside a pinball machine, it's really you break it down. It's really kind of like one simple mechanical device repeated maybe like 100 or 300 times, but it's really not that difficult, right? We're using the same technology since Harry Williams days. We have a solenoid that will create an electromagnetic field, and then it's attached to a rod that's gonna do something, right? It's gonna raise a pose, it's gonna lower a target, it's gonna flip a flipper. If you can just get your head around that one thing and figure out how to make that work, well, then you just start doing that, you know, 50 times around the play field, like one at a time, step by step, and I, I think that way you can kind of like take it like a bite at a time and it becomes more manageable. That's, that's how I started. So okay, if I can just get, you know, a piece of wood, a set of controllers that do all the hard work for me, some basic software, that's all open source, off the shelf. And then just, if I can wire it up, get power safely, and get a flipper to flip, well then I can take that, I can add it to a drop target. Then I can, you know, 3D print a ramp or borrow a ramp from somebody else, right? And like, start combining these little pieces in between and next thing you know, you got a pinball machine. So it's, it seems daunting, but you really, you really can do it.